There is increasing concern tonight that the crisis in Egypt may be heading out of control. Protests over the military takeover have been growing. Over the weekend, there was a mass killing of demonstrators and a new showdown may be brewing now. Clarissa Ward is in Cairo. In Cairo now, all eyes are on this protest camp outside the Rabah al Adawiya Mosque where supporters of ousted President Mohamed Morsi continue to defy the government's demands that they leave. Morsi! Morsi! There are fears of another harsh crackdown by security forces, and there are fears it will be bloody. This weekend, at least 70 protesters were gunned down outside the camp in the single deadliest incident since Morsi's ouster on July 3rd. But senior government advisor Dr. Mustafa Hagazi said that Egypt is now fighting a war against terrorism. So do you think people in Egypt now equate supporters of the Muslim Brotherhood with terrorism? I would say to a great extent, yeah. You had security forces opening fire on protests this weekend. More than 70 people were killed. Is that terrorism? We cannot deny that, as we said, we have some sort of a, an incident that has to be investigated. This incident could include or involve some sort of police excessive use of force. The government claims that it has tried to negotiate with the Muslim Brotherhood, but with arrest warrants out for the group's top leaders, the prospects are bleak. The Muslim Brotherhood's leadership is hiding out in buildings and tents all across this compound, which means that the people who are camped out here aren't just protesters, they're effectively human shields. If security forces decide to arrest those leaders, they will have to get past the thousands of people surrounding them. Mohammed Akhtar was a consultant for Morsi's government. We're not going to back down. We're not allow ourselves to live again in a police state, being intimidated, held incommunicado, being tortured, and, and being just detained for whatever reason. Do you think some people here are willing to die? A lot of people here are willing to die. Clarissa Ward in Cairo. Clarissa, do you have any sense this is coming to a head anytime soon? Well, Bob, statements from security forces seem to indicate that they might try to uh, clear out those camps in the coming days, not weeks. And the Muslim Brotherhood has now announced that it is calling for another round of massive protests tomorrow. It's worth remembering that the last time this city saw big protests on Friday, there were more than 70 dead by the next day. So there are many people here in Cairo feeling very nervous tonight. Okay, well, thank you very much, Clarissa.